南无阿弥达佛祖，南无阿弥达佛祖，南无阿弥达佛祖，南无阿弥达佛祖。Welcome, welcome to Kahului Hanganji Buddhist Temple's online YouTube Sunday service. Today is a special service.、Uh, both in the temple, in person, we will be having uh, our uh, service as well as this、uh, YouTube video and.、Um, Uh, we are observing today, or celebrating, the birthday of Shakyamuni Buddha, the birthday of the historical Buddha,、uh, which is a joyous occasion. And this is called Buddha Day, or、uh, also Hanamatsuri. Traditionally, means the flower festival because of all the flowers that are said to have fallen from the heavens when the when the uh, uh, baby Buddha was born, baby Siddhartha Gautama Buddha was born. So. Uh, uh, today, also being our fourth Sunday, we will observe、uh, family gratitude remembrance, just to acknowledge all those who have memorial services during this month, this month of April. So our service is very simple today. We've already had the、um, uh, ringing of the concho bell, calling us all to mindful, mindfully be present、uh, for this service, and then、uh, we will have. Today, instead of the Vandana Tisaran, as we often have,、uh, uh, we're going to do、uh, read reading of the homages, which is another form of the、uh, of the taking refuge in the Buddha Dharma and Sangha. And uh, uh, following that,、uh, we will have an aspiration、uh, for for Hanumanthari, Buddha's birthday, and family gratitude.、Um, and then after, and then we will chant the Sutra Gasho to Amida. And recite the golden chain of love. Following that, I will share a Dharma message with you, and then we will、uh, sing or chant the Metta, the loving kindness meditation. After that, we will sing the Nembutsu, and then、uh, close with some uh, uh, closing words. So, thank you very much for being here today, and uh, uh, we're kind of、uh, you know all still coping with the COVID situation.、Uh, Many of you have、uh, got vac- vaccinated already, and maybe and may- maybe still not 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 easy to get the vaccine everywhere. So、uh, I ho- hope that everyone can get vac- the vaccine as soon as possible. Although that's not the 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 only thing, we still have to be very careful and wear our masks and、uh, try to be、uh, careful with the distancing and so on. So thank you very much, and uh, uh, let's now go on with our service. Let's begin by. Reciting the Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. We will now have the reading of the homages. For those of you who have a、um, service book,、uh, it is on page two of the service book, but we'll also put the words underneath、uh, as as we speak. The homages. Hard it is to be born into human life. Now we are living in it. Difficult it is to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we hear them. If we do not gain emancipation in this present life, we may not be free from ill faring in the ocean of births and deaths, for kalpas for endless ages. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures. We go to the Buddha for guidance. May we always walk in the way that leads to enlightenment. We go to the Dharma for guidance. May we be submerged in the depths of the teachings and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. We go to the Sangha for guidance. May we all, with one accord, live the life of harmony in the spirit of oneness, free from the bondage of selfishness. Even through myriads of kalpas. Hard it is to hear such excellent and profound teachings. Now we are able to hear and receive them. Let us try to understand the Tathagata's teachings. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. The aspiration for today's service. Today, the Kahului Hongganji Sangha has gathered to celebrate the birth of the Buddha and to bathe the baby Buddha. 
2,600 years ago, a Buddha known as Shakyamuni was born. He was a human being, just as we are, but in him, understanding and love were developed to a very high degree, and he became a fully awakened being. He was a beautiful and precious flower in the garden of humanity, an Udumbara flower that blooms only once every 3,000 years. May the Buddha's birth and life inspire us to seek the Buddha's enlightenment and become awaken, awakened through the working of Amida's great compassion. Kahului Honganji Sangha members also remember today our loved ones who have passed away, particularly those whose memorials are observed in this month of April. In appreciation of them, let us reflect deeply on the transience, the uncertainty, and the impermanence of our existence so that we may all awaken to realize the true significance of our living. May we live our lives as an expression of appreciation for the limitless kindness we constantly receive each and every moment and let us seek to repay our debt of gratitude to all our departed loved ones for the great benevolence that they have bestowed upon us. In deep awareness of the many blessings we constantly receive from others, let us repeat the name which is true reality itself, measureless light, boundless life, Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts.
show to Amida in the clear bright morning sun in the fading light of day in the darkness of the night I go show to Amida Namo Amida Butsu I live in great compassion This great power guides my life I go show to Amida Golden Chain of Love I am a link in Amida Buddha's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I must keep my link bright and strong. I will try to be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will try to think pure and beautiful thoughts, to say pure and beautiful words, and to do pure and beautiful deeds knowing that on what I do now depends not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also that of others. May every link in Amida Buddha's golden chain of love become bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Please join me in Gasho as we recite the Nembutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Welcome again. And thank you for joining us today for our Kahului Hanganji Hanamatsuri service and family gratitude remembrance. So at Hanamatsuri, we celebrate the birth of Siddhartha Gautama, who became the Buddha, who became Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, in our time, when we celebrate someone's birthday, we usually have a nice cake with candles on it, one for every year of the person's age. In the past, here at Kahului Hanganji, when we were able to have big services in the temple, and, and we, would, we have often... Um, brought out a birthday cake for the Buddha at the end of the service, a cake with candles on it. And this is always popular with the children, you know, of course. But we couldn't put as many candles as we would actually need to acknowledge the Buddha's real age. For that, we would have to put a lot of candles, at least 2,500 and maybe more, because it's uncertain when the Buddha really lived. And I'm afraid that that would probably constitute a fire hazard, so we can't do that. So <laughs> we just put a few candles, symbolic, symbolizing the Buddha's age. <clears throat> Today we're observing the birthday of the Buddha. Why? Why do we do that? Didn't the Buddha die long ago? Yes, but the Buddha's teaching remains, and it is a living flame that, illumina that illumines our, all of our lives. In this sense, the Buddha is truly alive 
and through the Dharma, the Buddha lives in all of our hearts. Thus, it is very appropriate that we should celebrate Hanamatsuri, which truly honors the enlightenment he attained. But we need to understand what this means. Enlightenment is not just some happy state of mind. It means to realize the truth about reality. We are told that the Buddha was born into a life of luxury and that he was sheltered and protected from all sorrows and troubles in this world by his parents. <clears throat> However, it is impossible to really shelter someone from the realities of life from illness, old age, and death, because everyone, without exception, must eventually face these things. As soon as Shakyamuni Buddha learned that suffering exists, uh, he could not rest until he discovered why this should be. He needed to know the meaning of suffering. So, he left, so once he encountered, once Siddhartha, he was then Siddhartha, Gautama was his name, uh, uh, when he encountered uh, uh, th that reality, he left behind his sheltered world to discover the truth. Actually, it doesn't matter if we start out rich, poor, or in between. Each of us is taught from birth to um, hide behind, to take shelter in comfortable assumptions about life, although that's easier to do if you're rich than poor. But we all do that, no matter what state of life we're in. And we, we want to have these comfortable beliefs that shield us from facing the true nature of our existence. Uh, we do this, uh, Siddhartha discovered on his journey to enlightenment, because we are so attached to a false understanding about ourselves. Buddha discovered through his own deep reflection that his and everyone's true existence was not absolute. That's the false assumption that our, that our existence, our ego self, is absolute. But uh, our existence, our self, arises and is maintained only through causes and conditions, every moment. He discovered that a living being has no permanent, independently existing self. He understood through this insight that his and everyone's suffering in life is rooted in attachments which delude us into believing that our lives, that ourselves, are permanent. When this view is changed, when it's overturned, and we understand the conditional nature of living, we can begin, only then, we can begin to appreciate our life just as it is in this present moment, without desire, without regret. We realize the great compassion that always supports us, what Shinran called Amida's vow, and when, and we then naturally respond to all things, to all things naturally with gratitude and, most importantly, without judgment. This is the meaning of being enlightened or awakened. This fundamental truth realized by Shakyamuni Buddha became the basis of countless teachings throughout the centuries uh, that followed after he, after he lived. Every Buddhist teaching is based on the idea that we need to awaken from our foolish, deluded self to the world of true reality, or sometimes called suchness, uh, to reality as it is, not as I want it to be. <clears throat> and, and this is not easy. Every Buddhist teaching uh, extols a particular path, but all, without exception, try to shake us out of our complacent self-understanding in order uh, that we awaken to true understanding in accordance with reality. Although there are a great variety of paths in Buddhism, many, many paths, they, sometimes, some teachers have said, you know, there's as many paths as there are disciples. So every individual, in, in a sense, even though we follow certain paths, like this is Jodo Shinshu, or might be Zen, or Theravada Buddhism, whatever it is, uh, each one of us has our own unique, my path is a unique path, different from yours, no matter what sect or school we are, uh, whether we're in the same one or different one. So everybody's path is unique. 
But uh, even though there are, there are really infinite variety of paths, they all owe their existence to the enlightenment that was attained by Siddhartha Gautama, who became the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha. Without his life and teaching, there would be no Buddhism. And so at Hanamatsuri, all Buddhists joined together to celebrate the birth of the person who discovered the great truth of liberation from suffering. As we celebrate the Buddha's birthday, with or without a cake, let us take Buddha's teaching deeply to heart. Although he was born approximately 2,500 years ago, his teaching is for you and me today. His teaching is for us now, in this present moment. So it's not only is it relevant, but it's, it's crucial, it's essential in this present moment. Um, one other thing, one thing to mention is that, of course, our tradition is to, uh, to, to pour, to bathe the baby Buddha. This is found all in all, all uh, schools of Buddhism throughout the world. And uh, um, I, it, it isn't ready yet, but we have a, there's a kind of a house all festooned with flowers, decorated with flowers that the Buddha resides in. And, we, and it's a bowl and the statue of the Buddha. And you can see behind me that that's the baby Buddha, one hand pointing up and one hand pointing down. So he is, uh, it's from the legend of his birth that as soon as he was born, he took, he took uh, um, uh, seven steps uh, in each of the ten directions. And he said, uh, in, in the heavens above and the earth below, I am the noble one. So he was refer he's referring, of course, uh, uh, this is symbolic, of course, that he will uh, become the example of true nobility, which is in light to become awakened, awakened to reality. And so in, in some traditions, water is poured, the, the rains that fell when the Buddha was, the sweet rain that fell when the Buddha was, was um, uh, born, uh, in, according to the legend. And then, of course, there is the story of, uh, th th there is the um, uh, flowers that were also fell from the heavens. So um, it, that's a kind of a nice story. And uh, so we honor that in different ways. In the Japanese tradition, it's sweet tea is poured on the Buddha. But could just be, it is really just meant to be water, uh, re sweet rain that fell from heaven. So, um, so uh, I'll put a picture of the, of the Hanamido the, uh, uh, at the, uh, on, in, in, on, uh, above, so you'll see it, okay? Um, and um, so now I would like to close with a short uh, passage uh, of Shakyamuni Buddha's teaching from an ancient sutra called the Metta Sutra, or the Loving Kindness. What we uh, will recite uh, soon is the, loving, is the Metta, the Loving Kindness uh, meditation. So this is the, from the Loving Kindness Sutra. And this is what um, the, the Buddha said in, in this sutra. He said, just as a mother loves and protects her only child at the risk of her own life, we should cultivate boundless love to offer to all living beings in the entire cosmos. We should let our boundless love pervade the whole universe, above, below, and across. Our love will know no obstacles. Our heart will be absolutely free from hatred and enmity, without, whether standing or walking, sitting or lying, as long as we are awake, we should maintain this mindfulness of love in our own heart. This is the noblest way of living. And so we close our, our, our reflections today by saying, Happy Buddha's birthday and Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. May all beings be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May I be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to me. May I live in peace and harmony. May my family be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my teachers be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my friends be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. 
May they live in peace and harmony. May strangers be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my enemies be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May all beings be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Thank you very much for joining us today for Kahului Hanganji's online YouTube Sunday service and for our Hanamatsuri, Buddha's birthday celebration, and for our gra family gratitude remembrance. And I do hope that there was uh, something in, in the service today that uh, you're able to take away with you that will be meaningful for you and helpful for you in, in the week to come um, and, in, and in your journey, your spiritual journey. Um, so uh, at this time, I have a few announcements to let you know what's going on in the future. So just as today we are having um, the, uh, for today's service, we're also having the in-person service in the temple, uh, 9 a.m. Sunday morning. Uh, this is April 25th. Um, we will also, we will be having more, some more in-person services and as well as the video. So upcoming now in May, on May 9th, we, is Mother's Day. So we will have the in-person service in the temple as well as the video. Um, May 23rd, which is our fourth Sunday, we'll, we will observe our uh, a major service, Gotane, uh, which is the birthday of Shinran Shonin, uh, and also uh, our family gratitude. And that will be in person as well as our, um, our, our video. Then on June 20th, we will have uh, our, father, our um, Father's Day and uh, uh, our graduate, uh, uh, graduate appreciation service. So um, uh, it, it, once a year, we always, rem we always honor the graduates in the temple, um, uh, graduates of our, of our Sangha, our, 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 our church community, our temple community. Uh, and those who have graduated from high school or college are honored on, on that day. Uh, so we will, uh, 
uh, have that as an in-person service too. So fathers and graduates will be remembered on June 20th. Uh, and that will also be uh, the video service, but uh, in, in a more abbreviated form, of course. And then um, on, the, on June 27th, the fourth Sunday, we will again have our family gratitude and it will be an in-person service as well as a video. So um, once again, thank you very much for joining us today and I, w I hope that you will all stay, <coughs> stay healthy, stay well, and enjoy your life. Thank you very much. Let's recite the Nembutsu to close our service. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu.